Hello there. What is going on, everyone? We are fixing to play some Star Wars Legion, and I am playing uh, Igar Saxon and some Mandalorians uh, for the Shadow Collective today. And uh, I'm playing Sean, who is playing Rebels. And uh, if you've followed a lot of my battle reports, you've known that uh, <laughs> Sean always brings Jin, Jin Erso, and Pathfinders, and and, uh, and and what's his name, Cassie and Andor. Sean has habits. <laughs> yeah, and and there is no Jin Erso, there's no Pathfinders, and there's no Cassie and Andor. It's a little bit more of a traditional Rebel list. Uh, he's got Leia, and uh, and R two D two, and uh, this is almost a. Uh, 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 echo based defenders list. You've got two rebel defenders, or sorry, rebel veterans, two Mark IIs, Leia and R2, but uh, you do you do have um, three some ATRTs yeah. and a land speeder, yep. which is uh, really interesting. So, uh, so a little more, to, you know, a little hybrid kind of traditional with the ATRTs. I haven't seen those come out in a long time. Um, and I'm running uh, Gar Saxon, three Mandalorian super commandos with the marksman. Uh, two units of the Black Suns with the Scattergun Enforcer, and they have the extra Black Sun Enforcer and the Frag Grenades, uh, and then one unit that doesn't have the Scattergun. Um, and then I've also got a Swoop Bikes in there because I haven't used them yet, and I decided today was going to be the day I was going to try them out. So, uh, very, very cool, and uh, we are going to kick things off. We've already kind of done our little uh, turn zero, uh, let me show you kind of around here what we're, what we're going to be looking at today. Uh, we've got Major Offensive, War Weary, and Bombing Run. Bombing Run will be an interesting one. He's got, he's got a Land Speeder. But I've got Mandos that are speed 3. So they could probably bring some bombs pretty far across the board fairly quick, maybe? I don't know. That's that was I, I I won't lie to you. I had bombing run in my cards too. Oh. So because I thought Mandos might have been able to jump them across really quickly. I thought it could have been fun, and uh, we'll kind of see how how it goes. But we are getting ready to kick things off here. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, fast forward a little bit to set up, and uh, we'll bring you guys in from there. Make sure you check around, uh, stick around, and uh, see how this game goes, and check out some more videos uh, after you're done. All right, we are set up. Uh, we got laser ATRT there, rotary, rotary, rebel veterans Leia, uh, R two on the speeder, uh, and we've got a one black sun, the basic one. We got the two heavier ones over here. I put almost everybody else over here. Uh, I did reinforcements, put the swoop bikes last there, and then we assigned our bombs. I gave one to the swoops, one to these mandos in the front, and one to Gar Saxon, and he gave one to that guy, one to that guy, and one to the land speeder. So, uh, and we are running war weary, so I kind of wanted to keep most of my guys together. Uh, there's gonna, definitely going to be some panicking, I think, that happens, but eh, that's okay. Uh, I think it's part of the game. It's the nature of the beast. Uh, uh, ready for round one, Command Cards? By the way, this is awesome uh, terrain from Terrainify. You may have seen uh, some videos already from them, but you can check them out if you want. You went with uh, uh, coordinated bombardment, not yeah. surprised. I went with discretion. That's three units. Uh, I, I can opt to. Assign up to three fewer units, uh, and each I get to choose a mercenary unit, range one to three, and they gain a dodge token. So instead of issuing any orders, I'm just going to issue out extra dodge tokens. So hopefully, kind of help protect against the the coordinated bombardment that may be coming. Yes. All right. So after uh, independent, uh, and then my three extra dodge tokens out, I got dodge and aim tokens like everywhere. Um, I think our Saxon is the only one that doesn't start out with any special uh, tokens right now. Even these guys over here, which are just out of range, have tokens. And I gave it uh, to these guys, these guys, and then an extra dodge to the Mandos that have the objective token. So, uh, yeah, so we'll see how much Leia wants to shoot. All right. Took some rocket launcher shots and then uh, ATRT shots. We got one guy down, but a lot of good uh, dice rolling. Well, a lot of bad dice rolling for Sean, good <laughs> dice rolling for me. Two suppression on these guys right now. They're probably going to panic. They're too far away, and they couldn't use his commander value anyway since I didn't bring a Black Sun commander. Uh, but, you know, they were they were kind of the bluff deployment of putting some people out there early, so he thought my forces would go there, and then, I, you know, once I got him to commit a little bit to the middle of the board, I kind of went around this way, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I did a pass already since he has 10 activations to my 8, so I did my one pass. For this, loving that part of the new rules there. And uh, we're going to just keep going. Probably not too many more shots this round. 
Okay, so I lied a little bit about the lack of shooting. Um, yeah. The, the speeder went and went pretty far. He double moved in the middle. R2 couldn't get out, so just took a dodge because the speeder double moved. Uh, but uh, I think he expected me to go more this way, and I decided to kind of send with Mandos and Black Sun up to the middle and got range two of the speeder. Had everybody shoot at him. Did take out the speeder. Almost lost his full unit of Black Suns right here. Lost a Mando and... Uh, and lost one black sun. No, I didn't lose a black sun over here, but they were suppressed. So uh, lost a lot of black suns, but took out a speeder that was carrying a bomb. So I, it's not a it's not a total loss. Um, but this guy over here is getting ready to head off these little swoop bikes. So we'll see what happens this round. All right. So beginning of turn two, I played victory or death, and Sean played someone else has saved our skin. So that means Leia and. Somebody else, and then they get to basically double. They get to double activate, which could be rough, especially if there's fire support in there. It could be a really big turn. Uh, victory or death is Gar Saxon and two troopers. Uh, when he issues an order to a unit, they gain an aim token. Gar Saxon and each friendly special forces unit gain outmaneuver. They can spend dodges to cancel uh, uh, crit results. Um, so let's roll to see who's going to go first. You're the blue player, right? So you roll a die if it's a if it's a block, it's you. If it's so, it's uh, I'm gonna. It's you. All right, so I'm going to issue my orders and everything first. Uh, and so it's going to be Gar Saxon. He's going to gain an aim token for that. Um, and then I'm going to give it to both of these Mandos right here. And they're going to, since they're issued an order, they're going to gain a dodge because of their cards. They have defend one, right? So that'll be helpful for that. And then they're also going to gain an aim token for, for the command card. And that's going to help them hopefully stay alive a little bit longer. Alright, six of these. Seven hits into oh, R2. Wait, no, I think it still kills me, only has four. Okay. Almost, though, I've had one more block. He, he, almost, he almost survived an yeah. out front Mandalorian onslaught, but we did just barely kill him. Yeah. So that takes that takes your, away your guy who could have claimed that objective and takes away your special mission. So maybe it was worth losing those Mandos because they're probably toast at this point. Um, yeah. Okay, so uh, like I said, my Mandos that went up in the middle got completely mm. obliterated. My other Mando unit got completely obliterated. Um, out of every shot he rolled on them, I rolled all red blanks <laughs> with only one exception. So, and it was uh, Pierce. So. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the Mando defense dice were all blanks, and that's why I don't like Mandos, because they only have one HP each. Uh, I do have one Mando unit left. They're over here. Uh, we rolled three crits into this dude. A lot of natural crits I've been rolling so far this game, which is good. Um, I've got this oh. three wounds on this guy. That does blow up. That does blow. Oh yeah, I have to. But I'm gonna score a point here. This guy's got some wounds on him. I got like I think one wound on this guy. So we're gonna that guy has no wounds. That guy oh. has four wounds. That guy has four wounds. Oh yeah, we damaged his weapon. Uh, but he's the laser can. I really would have rather damaged one of these guys' weapons. But uh, we're we're doing okay. Um, so, but I did lose two full Mandalorian units. But you lost the the speeder and, and R two. Yeah. So it's it's anybody's game right now. All right, so beginning of turn three, I played Marked for Elimination. He played No Time for Sorrows. He's moving these guys this way. Uh, these Mandos are parked behind this guy. They haven't dropped their bomb yet. Uh, I think he is se sensing that the end is nigh, saying I gotta stop this objective point win, because all these guys have to do is come over here and drop a, drop a thing. Now, I do get to pull from the pile first, um, which is something to think about, but it's, it's a little... It's a little scary at times. Um, I think I have a, a solution. Do they each of those guys have one aim e or one dodge each? Or is there two dodges on a certain Two dodges aim? on these guys. On, on the veterans? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, but I got a lot of aim tokens out here. I can do a lot of groovy stuff. Um, I'm really, I think the biggest, oh, you have so much. You have so much that you can do. I, I mean, I could really risk pulling from the pile and hoping I get special forces, but I have so, I've only one special forces out there right now. So, makes it, uh, makes it scary. Oh, oh, they, wait, everybody gets to move when they're Anyone that's issued an order. Everybody that's issued an order gets a move. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That's rough. That's rough. Well, I guess we're going to go with Gar Saxon first. And uh, I think what I really need to try and do is do a move and then a jump over there to tie up that big rebel veteran unit. So this way you have much less options of fire support into here. Um, I think that's the smartest move that I can make right now. All right, so he, he moved over to here and I'm actually gonna shoot. Uh, I have the, the flame projector. 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna take this shot with blast spray and suppressive, which is gonna be uh, 12 dice against the rebel veterans units. I'm not gonna move to engage them. I'm gonna try and flame throw them instead. I mean, I want to use the cards that I brought. Want to? It's my first time running Gar Saxon, so here we go. Okay, um, that's not too bad. I have two aim tokens. There's only a couple of, and he's got surge to crit. So one blank, two blank, three blank, four blanks. That's oh five blanks. All right, so that'll that'll be a crit. That'll be a crit. That'll be a crit. All right, four hits. I'll reroll these two with the first aim token. There's another crit in there. Then I'll reroll two blacks with the other aim token. Wow, two more crit. A lot of criticals. Uh, all right, so you have two dodges. I'm assuming yep. you want to cancel two hits. Oh yeah. All right, so we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hits. Coming through, pierce eight. No, there's no pierce on that. Oh, you block one, two, three, four, five. So three are gonna get through. Unfortunately, that's not gonna stop the heavy, but that still takes out a couple of dice. That still takes out a couple of dice. And uh, that is a suppressive attack, so you will get two suppression. Okay. <sighs> so that's something. It's, I don't know if it's better because I think even if I moved in and engaged those guys, Leia might still move up and be able to have a shot, too. I think you were still going to have fire support one way or another. Oh, I think that's my two, because your two's right there. I have two twos? I have two twos. I think I did have two twos out, but it's okay. You can use the two. Ooh. You can borrow my two two. Good job, guys. Take it. All right. Yeah, those were good white dice. My, my defense that your white dice are better than my red dice this Today, time. yeah, they yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. I, I am going to have range three. Okay. Oh. All right, so he took the other rebel veterans, moved them over. Uh, he does just have range three, just barely out of cover. I mean, one guy's behind cover, but he, two of them aren't. And he's fire supporting with that mark two. I know the dice rolling is loud, so this... let's go ahead. Make it loud, baby. Make it loud. Turn up them speakers. Oh, a lot no. of blanks. A lot of. No, not that many blanks. Oh, okay. Not that many blanks. That's a pretty good roll. All right, one, two, three. Eight. Jeez, a monkey. Uh, and, and, and so I've only rolled one block all game uh, with all of this, so they're they're definitely going to die. There's no chance my Mandalorians could survive this at all. Zero chance. I mean, last time it was just all blanks. And the time before it was all blanks but one. Um, yeah, three blanks right there. Yep. Wow, exactly enough. Exactly enough. Whew. The one time I actually rolled some blocks, it's like, uh, all right, well, that's that might be game. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't gotten a point yet. Well, that's true, but I can't stop this guy. So, I don't know. This is going to be pretty pretty interesting. All right, so <laughs> end of the round. All I've got left is Gar Saxon, one unit of um, uh, Black Sun, and my bikes. That's it. Everything else is dead. Uh, this mine is going to go off as three red against you. Let me see if, uh, if I can kill this guy. I, I, all of his speeders have like three or four damage on them. Um, oh, that's three hits. Um, armor. Which <laughs> is armor. So is that impact on that? No. Nope. Blast is suppressive. Um, oh, you, you left your bomb back here. So oh, he goes. I know, I goes with you. I know, I goes with you. Um, that would have been funny. Uh, yeah, so I, I I completely wasted the mark for elimination. I didn't even take any shots on Leia. I was hoping to scare him, maybe. Um, but that's how that works. Uh, we're going to go into the next turn. All right, so he played uh, Turning Tide, which is a two pip, and I played Aggression, which is a two pip. He won the roll. And he's HQ uplinking, so he's going to try and do some shenanigans. Uh, the good news is, at least I'm out of this guy's front arc, so he's not going to be able to fire support much. So yeah, that's cool. I could do two. I could do two what? Uh, two white. <laughs> you could, I guess. Yeah, I, I, that's. It's oh, sorry, something. one black. One black. And you did attack me, so I spent Gar Saxon's shield last turn, but he still is unwounded, so he might he might live. I don't know, but I mean, the way I roll red dice, all I need is one one solid attack, and he'll he'll be. That was the He'll be going the way of the of the Pied Piper. So he's got another. I don't even know what that means. Uh, but I'm not going to issue any orders, and I'll give out some dodge tokens instead. Okay, so he dropped another bomb. It's up. He's up two to one right now. This guy that got blown up. He he, he did take a damage. He's gonna. Yeah, we're not blown up, but he he's up to four wounds. He's he, his thing was he it's the action one, so he has a chance to lose an action. There's still an unclaimed objective token here. Um, and there's another one right here, and then I've got one on Gar Saxon. So hopefully, uh, you know, I can at least tie it up this turn. I mean, you know, so, so I'm definitely going first, so that's, 
I'll at least be able to drop something. So that's kind of cool. All right. Kind of for the game, Leia's going uh, here. Guard jumps over here, drops it, arms the bob, moved to here. He'll, he can pick this one. Next turn will be the last turn. Leia's fire supporting into guard. This is kind of for the game. He's got one wound on him, but he's got his shield regenerated this turn. And uh, is that your aim? So yep. you're looking at five? Looking at five. And there's Pierce one in there? Yep. All right, she's a sharpshooter too anyway. So I'd yep. be rolling five plus one. These will all be blanks, I promise you that. Uh, let's get rid of one with that shield. Oh, yep. So four. let's make it four, so I'll only roll five. Um, here we go. Um, oh. Two blanks. Oh. So you cancel one, so I'll stop two of those. Okay. So that's two uh, damage. Yeah, two damage. Well, let's see, he's, he might live. All right, he's up to three. Uh, that's, he's got five health. He he could live, he probably won't, but we'll see. All right, uh, I took the bikes, made them pivot, and <laughs> he came around with suppress these guys. The overrun attack is kind of fun. Yeah. Um, it's working a little bit. Um, not doing crazy well with it, but it's a 70 point unit and it's mobile and it's fun. Um, but these guys fire supported in Nagar Sacks. Everything's going in Nagar Sacks. You got three. Uh, three coming in. Um, I will roll three dice here. Um, that includes heavy cover. Oh, two wounds that kills him, and I think that's gonna be game. We can we can probably call it there. Yeah, yeah, we can call that. Whew. Oh, good game. Good, good game. game. My red dice were really bad. This yeah, game. They, I, I really bad. They were not uh, not as good. Granted, it was more than that. You had good positioning, good command card play. Your your command card play was masterful because what the thing is, you played a three pip this turn. I knew you had a one and a three, and. <laughs> oh, it was blast off! I know. I needed. I needed yeah. this round to work. <laughs> oh yeah. I was thinking to myself like, at, so I could have possibly won it. Yes, you could have. If you if that shot wouldn't have I, missed, I would have been able to play my two pip here, which is Gar Saxon, activate first, jump up or a claim, jump and drop. That's why I was saying that these guys needed to move to stop me from winning. Yeah. But you you, you could also have jumped that way though too. I don't know if I could have reached. And if they if they um, if they rallied and could have had two moves, then, then you that, would have then you would have been able to climb. That would, yeah, that probably would yeah I would have been able to get up on there. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. That, I would have yeah. been able to reach that. Yeah, true. So, but you could have climbed if you if you got if you were close enough. But yeah, I, that's what I thought you were gonna do. Super super intense close game. Even though I had basically just one guy left, he was a tough enough guy and was super hyper mobile. Yeah. He is a really good objective guy. Really good objective. And, and not like, bad, he's not a bad puncher either. No, no, he had he had some shots. He got he. I was my attack. The flame dice, shot was fun. The flame shot was fun. Yeah. The flame shot was fun. He. Uh, I rolled a lot of natural crits. The problem was I split it up. Almost dead. Almost dead. Almost, almost dead. dead. Yeah. You All know? four. Yeah. It started out good. A lot of my games when I lose against you, uh, <laughs> I, they always start out with like a really good first turn. Like I take out your commander first turn, yeah. and then you're just like, well, I don't care because I'm going to kill you anyway. You know, so uh, no, really, really good game. Uh, so the end, uh, that one will go off. I will score. It'll be two to two, but you're going to win on points because I've got only the, I, well, I've only got the speeder bikes left on the, on and the board. And if we kept going, I think I could have wiped them as well. Yeah. I still had oh, yeah, yeah. But the, either way, they don't have to do much. You've got one, two, three. One of these is the same as them, you know, so yeah, I, I, they'd have to completely table you with, <laughs> with their, their two dice per mini. And maybe, if I'm very, very lucky, two overrun attacks. So, uh, you know, they were fun, though. And this was a great uh, a great way to use a bunch of minis that I haven't used in a long time. So, uh, you used a lot of stuff you haven't used in I a know, long time. Right? I know, right? They yeah. have unba they're not based. This is back in the day. Oh, yeah, yeah. These guys, they, this is this is like a throwback to when we first started playing Legion. Yeah. Uh, how many years ago was that? Like, four years? No. That's five? No, gosh, no. COVID, was, COVID lasted four years. Yeah, it was so, before COVID. It was long before COVID. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah. So it's been a long time yeah, uh, the first since that Triple ATRT was out on this table. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Big thanks to Sean for being a good sport and uh, and uh, and making me look less foolish than I might have otherwise looked. <laughs> but uh, and then this guy's not broken. He just he he, he kind of came off there. I don't like to glue those things. Those on. are. There. They're not as bad as I thought. Like the overrun seemed a little yeah. off, but yeah. Yeah, the overrun is not too strong, but it's it's a nice, it's a little free extra attack, and yeah. since they can have potentially get independent aim, uh, it's okay. I feel like they need a little something else, but overall they're still pretty fun. I enjoyed it. Great game uh, and fun playing Shadow Collective for the first time in a while. So, I'll talk to you guys later. May the force be with you.